Russian troops continue to strike Ukrainian military infrastructure in Odessa region. During the attack, AFU facilities in Zatoka, through which military equipment and ammunition supply routes pass, were hit. In Sumy and Kharkiv oblasts, there is a high concentration of AFU forces in the border areas. In addition to regular units of the Ukrainian army, mercenaries and nationalist units are present in the area. In the Kupyansk section, Russian units continue to expand their zone of control near Lyman Pershi. After the capture of the Molchanovo railroad station, the fighting shifted to the landings west and south of the village. In the area of the Torska salient, the fighting finally entered the positional phase. Despite numerous counterattacks, the Ukrainian command failed to seize the initiative and achieve any successes. South of Bakhmut, at the cost of significant losses, the AFU units once again managed to gain a foothold on the heights near Klishchivka. Despite the difficult situation, the Russian servicemen are holding their defenses on this section of the front. The AFU continue regular shelling of frontline areas of Donbass. Donetsk, Horlivka, Yasinuvata, and Staromikhailivka came under the enemy's strikes. Residential buildings were damaged. One person was wounded. In the Vuladar sector, the AFU made a new attempt to attack in the direction of Vladimirivka. After coming under concentrated artillery and anti-tank fire, the enemy suffered losses in personnel and equipment and retreated. In the Zaporizhia direction, the enemy continues to throw in assault groups and attack near Robotyne and Piatikatki. At the same time, there is activity of the AFU aviation on this section of the front. The situation remains difficult in the Kherson direction, where the AFU is trying to build up its forces on islands in the Dnipro Delta. Russian troops are working to identify and destroy enemy landing groups. 